All right, here's something to think about. It's Monday, 2.35 p.m., May 14th. So, uh, it's, it's, it's weird how words have their, kind of like end up taking on a mind of their own. And some, some phrases or words don't ever seem to pick up, then other terms or phrases just get embraced and loved by everyone. It's really weird how that is. And we know that Mercury is a planet of speech and dialect. Um, but we also know that Mercury is the planet of Lord Vishnu, or the aspect of God that is everything. And this is why mercurial people are so curious. And if that Mercury is strong and in a good shape, then one can be can have a very nice, healthy curiosity and be open to a lot of things and be able to kind of appreciate a lot of different uh, schools of thought or ideas or opinions because there's a part of Mercury that really is all those things, you know, and it, it is it is Vishnu. So I wonder if that has anything to do with why, you know, Vishnu and astrology being a path of Vishnu, a sadhana to Vishnu, uh, a path of seeing God in everything. And I wonder if, if that's why words just sort of, uh, so many phrases and words have some sort of connection to astrology or to occult wisdom, we could say. And when you really know uh, think how things are behind the scenes, then you can see, and if you know with astrology or numerology or all these different occult systems, then you can see why a certain thing is said to be the, that way. Um, or certain like phrases will just become taken on. And that's not even to talk about also the fact that so many of our words actually have an etymology or a, a root in astrology. I did an article about that, so I can put a link to that below this video, but um, for example, uh, consider means con means with in Latin and cider means star. So it's the word consider literally meant to look at the stars, to look at the chart of something. So when we said in the old days, consider this, we were saying, look at the chart of this, <laughs> um, you know, and then, you know, saying something's chronological or chronic, you know, it comes from Kronos, the Greek name for Saturn of Saturn being the long-term oppressor. So Chronic means not going away, and chronological means relating to time and in order of time. So we we know that, but then there's also this side of like words where they just come out. Um, some words get embraced, and other words don't, or phrases. Uh, like for example, the word um, "lost in translation." We say when you know something in Japanese culture just doesn't make sense in American culture, like a lot of things. We say it's lost in translation. And we don't say it was burned in translation, or it was dried in translation, or it was soaked and wet and dissolved in translation. No, we say it was lost in translation because Mercury, the plan of speech and translation, is debilitated in the sign of loss, Pisces. So when we know astrology, we just get why some phrases, you know, someone may have said, that was just burned up in translation, but no one, there was no subconscious click where that made sense. So no one retained that phrase. They forgot it. But then you have other people that, yeah, they said, oh, it was lost in translation. Something about that just sounded right. Ooh, that guy's got a way with words because he's a good Mercury. So we go, we, we copy that phrase and we carry it on. And then one day that's a phrase that everyone knows. And the other attempts were, did not get remembered because they had no inner truth to them, no occult truth or no astrological truth to them. So I don't know if you guys ever think about this or think that that's interesting, but I think it's really interesting and uh, I see this a lot. Um, if you guys ever have, you know, examples or anything, if you think of something, leave it in a comment below this video, a phrase or a term, a, a comment that is related to something that, oh, once I knew astrology, I knew why that was. Um, black cats. Why are black cats supposedly a sign of bad luck? Well, if we've studied Jaimini, we know that Aries relates to cats. Saturn is the planet of the color black. So Saturn and Aries is the worst placement for Saturn. It's the most, it's one of the most unlucky placements. If we're thinking about things in terms of luck, Saturn fallen is one of the Un most unlucky placements you can get. So when a black cat crosses your path, 
it might relate to that. So it might mean, you know, something bad, bad luck, something, some fallen Saturn energy is happening. Um, when you break a mirror and you get seven bad year, seven years of bad luck, you know, Robert Svoboda had mentioned that in his book, The Greatness of Saturn, that that, that thought might actually go back to the Saudi, uh, yeah, Saudi Sati, the seven and a half year period where Saturn crosses the moon. It's called your seven and a half, and it's a very dreadful time um, for a lot of people, not every time, but for a lot of people, it can be a, a very difficult period. And the moon rules mirrors. The moon is the symbol of reflections, you know? And so the moon rules mirrors, so a broken mirror is like a crack in that mirror is maybe symbolic of Saturn crossing over your Saturn's entering the 12th from your moon and you're about to hint, enter your Sati Sati, which is to say you're about to have seven years of bad luck. You see what I'm saying? And so uh, a lot of superstitions and things, once you know astrology, you can root them out and see where the truth is and see what is embellishment and what is superstition. Another example of this is the phrase necessity is the mother of invention necessity well that relates to the moon the moon is the planet of needs the moon is the planet of the ego mind and our ego needs and that's why cancer the sign of the crab is like this pincer with the claw that just won't let go um and it just you know you can pick a crab up and just throw it by that claw um because if or if it's holding on to something with that claw you'll just throw the thing and it'll go with it and that's a symbol of the ego mind and how desperate it can be to cling to attachments and things that don't actually even serve it maybe so if you think about the moon being necessity being needs the needs of the the, the soul why we incarnated to experience certain things the moon plan of, of our needs necessity the moon is the mother of invention well, invention is related to Mercury and investigation and study and research and experimentation and finding a new thing. A lot of Geminis, uh, or sorry, a lot of inventors are Geminis. You also get a lot of Aquarius, though, to be fair. And Saturn also has a lot to do with inventing. But still, Mercury is the main planet of, of uh, experimentation and inventing new things. So what it's saying is necessity moon is the mother of Mercury, invention. We actually, in, you know, in Greek mythology and other systems, I think it's different, but in Vedic astrology, we should see this as no surprise, because in Vedic mythology, the moon is the mother of Mercury, and Mercury is the son of the moon. So it's just that simple. So maybe this is why that phrase stuck, whereas someone could word it, could say the same point, but in a different wording, and it just wouldn't be clear to us. It wouldn't ring true to us, you know? So... The phrases that have more astrological truth seem to get remembered and get carried on. And I just find that to be really fascinating. All right, well, if you guys have any thoughts or comments, questions, feel free to leave them here. Other phrases, things that you guys have thought of, um... Yeah, you know, I'm sure there are like a, a million that I could mention here too uh, for the set in this video, but uh, and maybe I could write an article that would probably be better for an article to list these things out. Um, but you know, these are just some good examples why one phrase is remembered and another phrase is not. You know what I mean? Um, look at uh, look at the charts of people who who seem to create these idioms or these phrases or, or people who are really good with words and they'll have strong mercuries as well, as you'll see. So, um, yeah, hope that, hope that is something to think about. Uh, and, you know, this is not something that's going to make you a better astrologer, but it's neat. It's interesting. Thanks, you guys.